Guys, we have some big crypto news to talk about in the market today. So we're going to be talking about the crypto prices. What are they doing? Where can they potentially go in the future? We'll be talking about CZ of Binance, the US economy. What is happening with the US economy right now? Elon Musk and some other critical things you guys need to know in the crypto market today. So if you guys like these important updates, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. And as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I hope you guys are enjoying the journey so far. And uh, one of the big things we want to kick off today's video is a message from channel sponsor KuCoin. So if you guys are new to crypto trading, you're looking for a crypto exchange, KuCoin has some really nice bonuses right now. And so they've actually released a new one called the Future Newbies Only up to 1000 USDT for everyone. Limited offer to be claimed. And that is a very nice reward if you're new to KuCoin. So if you want to sign up, get some big bonuses on rewards for completing some tasks over on the KuCoin exchange, you can do that. So there has been 500 $100 USDT bonuses and right now they're giving away some exclusive future rewards for those people participating in the futures over on Qcoin so if you guys want a big exchange with lots of crypto you can trade away on Qcoin I'll leave an affiliate link in the description of this video and you guys can sign up and get those bonuses and guys I want to kick off with this funny post over from reddit right here and have a look at this so this is a tweet and it says these scam coins are getting crazy someone just shielded me 27 trillion in circulation unlimited supply cap only one node 25% supply minted in the last six months 1% of holders own 30% and uh, what is what coin is that? That is the US dollar down the bottom, and that is true. So the US dollar right now, if there's a big scam coin out there, it's gonna be the US dollar because it just keeps printing away endless supply right there. And guys, we wanna give you an important update also about Tron. So Tron has a stable coin called USDD. This one is deviating below its peg. You guys can see the article right here. And if we do go to Tron's price, the USDD right now, you can see right here, it is actually below low one dollar so this one has been struggling a bit to maintain its peg so stable coins are supposed to stay stable tron usdd is having some trouble at the moment you guys can see it go from a dollar it actually dipped all the way down to around 93 cents it looks like it has recovered a bit but how this one will go in the future we'll find out and uh, you guys know so a lot of the stable coin industry within crypto it has been causing a bit of trouble recently and uh, it has been creating a bit of contagion if these things go under so they can impact some of the centralized hedge funds it can impact some of the centralized investing platforms like celsius and those things like right there and uh, it's just an unfortunate thing in the crypto space so stable coins meant to stay stable uh, some of them are struggling right now and uh, some positive news for gamers out there that is inversely related to cryptocurrency prices and GPU prices are falling well below manufacturers suggested retail prices due to the crypto crash. So you guys may know when the crypto prices go up, what tends to happen is a graphics card. So you're, if you're into gaming on your PC, they tend to shoot through the roof. But right now there are some good discounts on graphics cards. So if you guys are looking forward to playing you know, Diablo 4 next year, when that one comes out or any of these new releases on PC, you can possibly grab some bargains on GPUs right now. And guys, we also have some bullish news. This time it's coming out of Shark Tank's Kevin O'Leary. And he's actually buying the dip right now in terms of Bitcoin and Ether. And he says the collapse of risky tokens will help the crypto market in the long run. And he says right here, he's been doubling down on tokens, including Bitcoin and Ether, as well as various Web3 projects even though he knows not every one of them will be a winning bet i'm not selling anything i'm not selling anything o'leary says long term you just have to stomach it you have to understand you'll get volatility and that some projects aren't going to work and uh, he's a big investor in a lot of different cryptocurrencies he holds 32 positions and uh, that is how the cryptocurrency mar market works so i do think i agree with kevin o'leary i think in the long term you know everything's going to be okay for crypto so crypto is not going away there's going to be great projects in the market regardless and uh, always make your own personal decisions though you know what you want to do with your cryptocurrency so if you have bills to pay and you have to trade out temporarily pay those bills 
you know, no shame and things like that. So we do like the long term holds. But at the end of the day, you know, everyone's crypto journey is going to be individual. And you always have to be making sure you're making the right decisions, the best decisions for yourself. But I am still bullish about cryptocurrency in the long run. And we also have a funny tweet coming out of Elon Musk as well. And he says right here, I will keep supporting Dogecoin. So there has been a ridiculous case against Elon Musk, a court case. But at the end of the day, meme coins like uh, Dogecoin, uh, you know, they still have value. So if it's a meme coin and there's a community behind it, they support it and they just like collecting it. You know, there's no difference between collecting up meme coins and collecting up art. You know, modern art goes for tens of millions or hundreds of millions of dollars. Dogecoin has a big market cap and uh, same thing with NFTs. So if you like your NFTs, you think there's value behind it. You know, there's no reason you can't buy into that stuff. And Elon Musk will continue to buy into his meme coins such as Dogecoin. And guys, we also have some big updates from CZ as well. And he says right here, historically speaking, if you bought Bitcoin, every time there is a Bitcoin is dead headline, you would have done very well. When they lose hope, that's when the bottom is in. And uh, he's saying it's not financial advice though. And uh, if you do look at this graph, you can basically see the story right here. And this is generally gonna come out of a lot of news publications that you know potentially can publish fake news as well. And uh, you know, Bitcoin is a bubble, Bitcoin is dead, Bitcoin is a bubble, Bitcoin is dead. And uh, you know, I don't believe cryptocurrency is dead. So even though the prices are down recently, I don't think Bitcoin is dead. I don't think cryptocurrency is dead. And I actually think it's in a much stronger position than it was back in 2017 and 2018. Because when that crashed in 2017, 2018, there wasn't as much industry support. Right now, it's completely different. There's a lot of industry support. We've seen how cryptocurrencies can actually play a role in conflicts in Eastern Europe and things like that, donations to different countries. And I don't think cryptocurrency is going away. So even though the prices are down, I think long term, there is still some great value in cryptocurrency. And guys, let's talk about the volatility in the crypto space. Where is it coming from? And guys, in my opinion, it is all coming out of the US Central Bank, the US Federal Reserve, the US stock market right now. And uh, you can see this article, it says, look for more selling pressure in weeks ahead as investors learn the hard way not to fight the Fed. So to kind of sum up this article, what we do know is there is potentially, and it's not guaranteed, but there is going to be a lot of pressure coming from the Federal Reserve onto the stock market as they look to tighten up the money supply, okay? So when they tighten up the money supply, what happens is, you know, some value to some degree can come out of the stock market. And uh, for some reason, I'm not exactly sure, but there is a big correlation between cryptocurrencies and stocks at the moment. So again, there may be some medium term, short term volatility, maybe the crypto prices may drop, but the key message is I still think there is a lot of value in the long run. And uh, you can see right here, from Janet Yellen. She says US recession isn't inevitable, but inflation is unacceptably high. And uh, that is important. So they are probably going to look to fight inflation. But you never know with these people because you see they change their tune all the time. In Australia, they said interest rates were never going to rise until 2023 or 2024. A few months later, they completely changed their tune, their actions. You always have to take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but I do feel like a lot of the volatility in the crypto prices, you're going to be looking to people like Jerome Powell, who, in my opinion, is the big wave maker in the cryptocurrency market right now. Now, and uh, guys, if we do take a look at the crypto bubbles chart as of the time of making this video, you can have a look. The crypto prices are actually up today. So there has been a bit of a reversal in uh, Bitcoin's price, in the crypto prices. And if we do bring up the CoinGecko charts right now, at the time of having a look at this, you guys can see there has been a bit of a pump in the crypto prices. So this is good. Bitcoin up 7.1%, Ethereum up 12%, BNB up 7.3%, Cardano up 5%. And uh, Dogecoin up 12% on Elon Musk's tweet right there. And that is really good to see. So some of the crypto prices are recovering a bit. Uh, you know, we're not hitting these catastrophic low levels. So I have seen predictions out there, you know, $5,000 Bitcoin, $6,000 Bitcoin. But it seems to be maintaining its position right now. And uh, that is good to see. And I, I think it's probably because there is a lot of industry support. There is a lot of big money in cryptocurrency. It's not a small market. It's not as small as it was back in 2017, 2018. And I think even though the crypto prices like Bitcoin, it has, you know, dropped below $20,000. I think in the long run, you know, it still brings a lot of value to the market. It is an alternative form of a currency that does sit outside the US dollar. So always remember, there's only 21 million Bitcoins and there's going to be good projects out there as well. So if you're looking for altcoins, what are you looking for? Positive revenue generation, good teams, dedicated teams and uh, adoption 
utility, things like that. If you're going for meme coins, you're looking for social growth, community growth, and uh, just having fun in a community. So there's different types of cryptos out there. Some will be high utility, others, others will be meme coins. Both have value in my opinion, and that's exactly how the market prices it. So even though Dogecoin, it's a meme coin, market cap, $7.7 .7 billion, and that's all real. So you can buy a Dogecoin for five cents, sell it for five cents, and that is the reality of the crypto market. And I do think in the long run, there's gonna be some great projects out there, so nothing to stress about. But as always, always make your own decisions in the crypto space, what you guys wanna do with your money, buy, sell, trade, short-term trades, long-term trades. In the long run, I'm still staying bullish on crypto, but guys, appreciate you guys tuning into the video. If you guys wanna sign up and get some good bonuses on Qcoin, you can do that. I'll leave a link to some of these bonuses in the description of this video, but guys, appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.